How's it going everyone? It's Matt. The other day I made a video talking about paranormal experience that I've witnessed or dealt with. And I realized that there are two situations that I forgot to mention in that video. And I do understand that, you know, there is going to be a lot of people that just don't believe this kind of stuff. Personally, if I didn't see it with my own two eyes, I would not believe it. I wouldn't believe it if it didn't matter who was telling me it. I probably wouldn't believe it. But because I saw it with my own eyes, it is like you can't convince me that that didn't happen because I saw it with my own eyes. But just how it would probably be hard to convince someone it happened because it just sounds so unbelievable. These are just some stories that I totally forgot to mention in the first one. But let's go and get right into it. So my girlfriend at the time, which is now my wife, her and I were sitting on my bed, which is across from my closet. My closet is two sliding mirror doors. And as we're just sitting on the bed, the mirrors just start fucking rapidly shaking. And actually, I don't even think it was both of them. It was just the far one right here. And it just was like, and she covered her head with the blanket like she didn't even know what to do she didn't want to even b believe what was happening um it would it shook her up and i just have dealt with paranormal experiences in this place for quite some time so it was like holy fuck like it's happening right now and i just just stared in just like shock and fear and it just stopped shaking and that was that the other incident that i forgot to mention in the first video actually happened pretty recent within like the last three or four years i don't know which year exactly this was if i had to guess maybe 2019 2020 like right around pre covid or right after covid i'm in our front bathroom right here and as i i brush my teeth i had set my toothbrush on the side of the sink and as I am, I sit down, use the bathroom, and I start hearing some rapid rattling in the sink. I literally just, as soon as I get up, I get up off the toilet and I look and my toothbrush is suspended on the inside of the sink bowl. And I grab my toothbrush and it just felt like I was picking up a feather. And then I felt the weight of the toothbrush, which obviously a toothbrush isn't that heavy, but this toothbrush felt like air, like it was... There was nothing, no weight, like it was nothing in my hand is how light it felt. And then I felt the toothbrush. Whoa, what the fuck? My whole screen just glitched out. But after that, um, you know, I tried to put it back up to the bowl and it fell back down. I tried to put it back and it fell back down. And it was very, very freaky. It gave me chills. I'm getting chills right now, especially after my screen is glitching out all weird and I'm really not too for sure what's going on at this place, but I do feel that there is some type of paranormal activity. You know, while I'm talking about freaky stuff like this, there is one other thing I should mention. My son sometimes sleepwalks and sleep talks. And about a week or two ago, he, I was brushing my teeth. Everybody else was in bed like they are right now. And I hear him talking. And I'm, I go in there, and I'm like, oh, it's okay, Blake. I just go back to sleep. You're good. It's still bedtime. And he lays back down. He's like, he was sitting up, trying to get up, thinking it was time to go to school or something. So I tell him to lay back down. I go back to the bathroom, finish brushing my teeth. And this is, like, all the way down the hallway, back bathroom. Different bathroom than what the other incident happened in. But... I hear something from his room and I go back and look and he's up and he's walking towards his closet and he clears his shirts and he's filling the wall in his closet. Oh my God. Like it was the freakiest fucking, I was like, Oh, Oh Blake, Blake, come on. Let's, let's get away from that. Like, I don't know what was going on or what was like, it just, Oh, it was freaky. Just seeing him just so gone and then going towards the closet and like filling the wall like that. It just, uh, <laughs> not something you want to have to see in the middle of the night and pull your kid away from. Obviously, he was like sleepwalking. Maybe he was just trying to get his shirt, you know, thinking he was getting ready for school. 
but with how much paranormal activity has happened here over the years, it's just hard not to think that, like, holy fuck, like, what the fuck is going on here, you know? Sorry if I was just kind of all over the place with explaining this. I wish I would have remembered to put it all in the first video, but that's going to be it for tonight, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.